And just this earlier today, the mix-up game that he I was playing know. against Frozen was incredible. And this is a Wolf is another character that if you're able to play good mix-ups versus Wolf, you will get tons of reward for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see how this game in particular is going to shape up. One thing that is different between you know uh, you know Pyramithra and Wolf. Wolf has access to that laser, although already Kamex has shown that he can just hop right up right past exactly. it, not give a dang. Yeah, and Start will have to be a little bit more safe when coming back on stage because Kamex got a lot of stuff up his sleeve that can take advantage of um, LRA Starts. Um, oh, oh, never mind. I'm, what am I talking about? He caught the jump. Oh, oh buddy. yeah. Now if that little torpedo spinny move would have gone through, then that would have definitely taken this off. Yeah, but just a little bit too far back means that LRA start back on stage has a chance to get another meaty combo in here. Already 51%. I will say that LRA start, oh sorry, Kamek has been playing really well, you know, getting neutral wins, getting damage, but a single damage, like a single in neutral interaction from Sonic is it's nice. It's like 20%. A single neutral interaction win from Wolf is like 60%. Yeah. Like if you're gonna get hit by Wolf, just don't just expect there to be an extra 50% to go along with it. And wow, LRA start is just going at it. Okay, finally Kamix gets a stop, but oh. this is definitely not the Kamix we're used to. This is not the way Kamix wants to play Sonic, and LRA start is just pushing on that. I think a big thing is that when I think back to the set uh, he had versus Frozen. It felt like he really figured out the timings. But right now, LRA started, started throwing him for loops. Those neutral airs coming out when he's not expecting it to. The way he's just like zone breaking at these what seem like inopportune times. Oh, but as I say this off stage without a jump, he's gonna be making it back fine though. This is looking no. really grim for Kamex. And honestly, um, if all things goes bad, Kamex is a patient person. He will have. He will force it to a timeout if he has to. I mean, <laughs> you should. I, I mean, I mean he could, but Kamex right now is down by so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like Kamex doesn't force timeouts. What Kamex is plays the plays patient the way he wants to, and then he looks at the clock and he's like, oh, I guess there's a minute left. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna just <laughs> time to not left really. To the right. <laughs> yeah. It's a little dance. It's a little mini game the opponent has to play. But yeah, there's the the blaster. The blaster just kind of stops the homing attack at its position. Or at the very least, it forces the homing attack at a, or the, the spin dash at a very specific timing that LRA Start can then play around. Yeah, nice jumps, uh, nice catches on the jumps <laughs> from the lead. That forward smash seemed ambitious, and all of a sudden, LRA Start lead which seemed insurmountable is he's, he's if he gets forward smashed here from anywhere past mid stage he's pretty much dead yeah and um, exactly the tide of this game completely completely changed the first game was a complete wash on Kamex's stock on Larry Starts part but now it's very equal Kamex right. can throw a, like a hot smash attack or throw something off stage and then they'll Ooh. take it I will say, though, when you think about in terms of the character's tools for killing right here, Wolf definitely has the advantage. Almost all of Moves, oh, moves will kill. Oh, no. You know, Kamex just leaves me jaw-dropped every single time. Like, every time he's, he's going to lose or he looks like he's going to lose, he pulled that, that back air on that exact I side think, of the was stage. Was there a back air coming out also from... Uh, can we get a look at this last stock here? I think I saw the beginnings of back air coming out from LRA's start as well. No, he just jumped back down to the ground. That was just zoomed right past him when he was exactly. not expecting it. Took the also by the second jump. He really needed to land in order to do something. Did he know. get down to the ground here? No, he was frames away from touching the ground. Wow. He would have he would have had to deal with some landing lag from hitting the ground anyway. So that was just great job from Kamex realizing his, uh, his the opening and just taking it. And you know, it doesn't matter if you have a whole suite of moves that can kill if you can't land any of them. And that's exactly. what Kamex was basically. He was like, yeah, and it doesn't matter if you're forward tilt, you're down smash, you're up smash, or I think at that point throws could have been killing based on stage position. It doesn't matter if you can't hit me in the first exactly. place. Exactly. And honestly, that's something I saw a lot with the Frozen match as well. Just when um, Kamex is just floating or like doing spin dash or homing attack from left to right, right to left, what are you supposed to do if you can't catch it? And then 
There we go. This is it right now. Again, he's on that descent. All of a sudden, Kamek zooms right where, to, right to where he is, and gets some nice, solid damage in. This time around, things are actually looking very even for both players. But based on the way that Kamex just sort of took LRA start apart at the end of that last game, I, it just it feels like he's figured out how to play around at these kill percents in a way that LRA start hasn't yet. Let's see if that'll actually come to pass. As right now, definitely LRA start on the back foot. Yeah, we definitely saw um, Kamex go for the spin dash, and LRA start trying to like intercept it with a nair, but it just wasn't enough to intercept it. And now it seems like only Razor, um, no Laser, um, okay. Beautiful. LRSR definitely, definitely needed that to finally bring some momentum on his side and just something on the board. Oh, and just like that, only a single laser worth 10% was able to connect on Kamex before LRA start had his stock taken away. We're once more at it completely even game between these two. And this is the sort of thing where an even game where any lead of any kind can lead to massive differentials. Absolutely. The moment that Ken Kamix can take, again, a spin dash, it'll, it'll lock into other moves, and that's taken a lot of stocks from um, LRA start and just done a lot of damage to him in general. Man, I, you know, I was saying before how, oh, it feels like Kamex doesn't really understand the timings that LRA Start is going for. I mean, that's no longer the case. Absolutely. The, the, the fact that he is going for these attacks and then zooming in right as soon as LRA Start is, you know, pulling out a laser or jumping into the air, it's just so consistent that, yeah. uh, look at that, another wow. stock gone, and he's only taken 40. What is LRA Start supposed to do? Like, they're stuck. Now they have, they're forced to adapt on their last stock while well, Kemex had some time to think about it in the previous stock, finally figured out that timing, and then gone for it. I will say one thing that he's doing, which there's inherent risk to it, but I understand why, is that before he was trying to space further back, but it doesn't matter because Kamex was able to, you know, zone break so quickly. He zooms so fast with that side B. Now he's trying to be a lot more directly in his face. Yeah. He's like, which you could, you know, attribute to mashing. I would call it a... Uh, He's actually trying to find an alternate strategy for just like staying on top of Kamex. Exactly, and it's just like whatever move LRA Start has in mind, Kamex is already waiting for it. Like he wants to pull out a, ray, a laser. Hold it. There you go. Roll back. Spin dash. That mistech seriously costing him, and that's gonna be Kamex. Both of those games, it felt like. Even game two, it felt like, oh, oh, well, LRA starts, you know, figuring this out. No, that was, <laughs> I don't think that was ever in the cards, given just the nature of game two's blowout like that. Sheesh. Yeah, honestly, again, Kamex, a force to be reckoned with, and they're going to be moving forward. And, but you know what's also moving forward? This girl. This is my second time saying goodbye because I thought I was leaving the caster seat, but I, then I came back. Now I'm officially the on, the leaving the caster seat. I, um, I look forward to seeing you back in about five minutes when something else goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, we see yeah. we see extra O right there waiting along for us. So you Seriously, know what? Follow this girl on Twitter though. <laughs> at Milk Che. Um, also follow me on Twitter, yeah. but not nearly to the same degree. Oh my goodness! <laughs> stop. You're going to see him a lot in Encore commentary and, of course, some Xeno commentary yeah, right there as well. Oh, I should, uh, I guess, general announcement. I just moved into the city. <gasps> so I am actually... Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, gonna st I'm still going to be going to Encore, but uh, a lot more frequently I'm going to be here at Xeno. Tra so. uh, betraying the ENC in your tag. I'm not betraying Oh, my ENC. God. Anyway, uh, we're going to catch you right back. And then Milky, the queen, is going to transform into her king. Wait for it.